In this video, we will create confetti using particle drills. Source code for this project is down in the description. And if you find this helpful, please subscribe. So let's dive in. So you want to start by making this a 3D scene, hitting the plus button and searching for GPU and adding a GPU particles 3D. Hit create and you will see this warning. And that means we need to make a draw pass and a process material. We will start with the draw pass. And on pass 1 we will make this a ribbon trail mesh. Open up the ribbon trail mesh and we will make the shape flat. And then we can go into the material and we can make a new standard material 3D. Open it up and we can start off by enabling the transparency and you can make it alpha. This will allow us to make it transparent later. And if we move around behind it, you'll see it's not rendered. And for this, we don't want it to call the backside. So we will set it to disabled. And now we will be able to see both sides of the mesh. And we can also go into shading and I'm going to make it unshaded. This will make it not shaded. Then we will go into vertex color and enable use as albedo. This will allow us to change the colors later. Then we can go into transform and I'm going to drag this out so it's easier to see and enable use particle trails. This is uh, a must. And now we're done with the draw pass so we can close this down and we can go into process material and make a new particle process material. It will look a little bit odd right now and that's because we need to enable trails. You can enable it and now it will look normal again. I'm also going to decrease the time a little bit to 0.2. I'm going to open up the particle process material. And on the spawn, we will start with the velocity. And we want a initial velocity on the max at something like 5. This will make it shoot out a little bit in different directions. Then we want to change the accelerations. And on gravity, we can make this go up. So I'm going to make it 5. It feels like it's going a little bit in the right direction as well. And that's on the spawn and it's one on the direction for the initial velocity. And we can make this zero on the X and one on the Y. So now it will only affect the Y. That's perfect. Next, we go into radial Excel and we will make the max five. Tangential Excel at max five as well. Then we can go into display and we can do the fun part with changing the colors and such. I'll start with the color curves and we will make a color ramp. We will make this a new gradient texture 1D. Open it up and, and to make it transparent at the end, if we zoom out a little bit, you will see it just uh, disappears. We can make a new point in the middle just to keep track at where the middle is and then a new point in between the last one and the middle one. Then we can select the last one and on the color, we can click on that and make the alpha zero. And now it should fade a little bit more and I'm going to make the color uh, red. Next, we can go into the hue variation and I'm going to make a color curve, open up the color curve. And here's the fun part. You can make the max one and a minimum minus one. Another way you can do this is also by making it RGB. And you can just drag down the curve point to the bottom and that will make them change color over time. So that's also a cool effect, but I'm gonna, for this example, keep that max. Now we're done with the particle process material and now we'll just finish up with setting the time. And for this, we can make it, let's say two seconds and setting the explosiveness to max. So that's one. So it will shoot out in one shot. And we can also increase the amount to something like 15. And that will make it a little bit nicer. I'm gonna decrease the lifetime to one so it's easier to see. And I have a cone 3D model that I'm gonna show off with. Move it down a little bit. And that's perfect. And most confetti particles also have some that are longer and some that are shorter. And you can just simply duplicate the current GPU particle. And then in the trails, we can make the trail for this one longer. So I'm going to make it 0.5 and I'm also going to decrease the amount to something like three. And now you'll see that some are longer than others. Thanks for watching and special thanks to our Ko-Fi members for making this video possible. 
If you want to support our work and have your name featured in future videos, check out our Ko-Fi in the description and we'll see you in the next one.